Hey y'all, what is going on? It is October and it's a Saturday. So there's some college football on, go Vols. Playing against Ole Miss today. Um, but you know, I'll start this video out with an apology. I haven't been uploading as much as I would have liked to. This summer had some cool trips planned and just uh, kind of got distracted with some other things. Um, I haven't put a ton of Vol videos out. So I wanted to get out here and do at least one fall video. So this may be my last fall video of the year. We'll see. Um, but hopefully y'all enjoy. Um, down here at Paradise, gonna try to get on some smallmouth. Last year that didn't work out so great. <laughs> Although we did have a bad flood around that time, so I think that might have impacted it, but um, gonna be using the Nico Helgramite to start. And if that doesn't work, I'll switch to some of my smaller lures and see what we can catch. Hopefully y'all enjoy. All right, y'all, let's rock and roll. Hoping these glasses are polarized. Oh, I guess they kind of are. Just found these in my kitchen because I've lost all my uh, polarized glasses. Nico Helgramite, use it in every video. One 15 ounce jig head, I think. I'm not sure, I just, this is weird. Let's see what goes on, see if we can catch anything. All right, y'all, the thing about me, especially y'all already know this if you've been watching my videos, I'm um, not the most patient fisherman, so I'm moving on. I'm moving down to the spot that's been working better for me. What's that? Whoa, what is that? Yo, I don't, I never seen one of them around here. Obviously like it's a military plane, probably like a cargo plane or something, but still. Never seen one. I always love this spot. I always start fishing from down there and just work my way up here. And end right about there. Gets deeper along here. Up there you're in the rapids just a little bit, a little bit faster moving water. Um, but I'm gonna start fishing up there and then I'll take y'all to here in a little bit. It's the only time I get really frustrated about fall fishing. I hate getting stuck on them leaves. I love fall fishing. our first bite ladies and gentlemen that was our first bite i think it was the best too let's get back out there and see what we can do here we go what do we got a rock bass <laughs> oh he's a hog that is a hog, yo. That. Oh my gosh. Yo, that's a trophy sized rock bass. I'm calling it now. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, we're gonna measurement on this bad boy. That's a hog of a rock bass. That is a huge rock bass. I thought he was a smallmouth because he's so big. I'm gonna say eight inches. I think eight inches is trophy size. Let's take a look see here. How wet this side just keeps. There's one. Yeah. There you go. That is nine and a half inches. It's a big old boy. Beautiful fish. Love these guys. All right, buddy. I always said this is the cool thing about these fish. Like most fish take off and they like zoom out of here. These guys just kind of chill. Like see, look, he's just chilling right there for a little bit. Hog, hog, 
full rock bass fishing hog. All right, where am I gonna cast, man? This is it's funny with the leaves and everything. I feel like if, um, this is kind of like a game of roulette because you're trying not to get stuck on any leaves. I feel like each cast, you're just hoping you don't pick up any leaves and you pick up a fish. I'm not going too deep. A lot of bites I'm getting have been a lot shallower. Oh, there was a there's a fish. It's another rock bass. <laughs> oh, he's a big old boy too. These are big rock bass, y'all. Alright, y'all. Obviously I love fishing. Uh, but that fish, I'm not going to show you the release because he got actually hooked deeper than I thought he did. And uh, it's really tough to get the hook out. To be honest, his chance of survival is probably not that great. And I definitely feel bad about that. I mean, uh, I catch and release fish, but I like to come out here. And um, I do eat fish sometimes, but not all the time. So was able to get the hook out, released him, he swam away. I don't know. Like I said, I don't love his chances, but, uh, you know, if he does die probably a snapping turtle will pick him up or he'll end up on the bank and a fox or raccoon will get him or something so um, not everything will go to waste but I'm not going to show you the release because like I said it was a pretty messy one but was able to get it out and uh, was able to release him There we go. Rock bass. Were you was biting the whole time, buddy? Boop. See, that's the normal size for a rock bass. Basically the size of your, your hand. Great fish. Look at them. Look, they're so calm when you let them go, too. They're just, like, chill. They're, like, if you could have a beer with one fish, like, that'd be a real chill dude to have a beer with. One of the things I'll say that's really cool about this lure... ...is if you're trying to avoid catching sunfish because I've been some places where like you catch sunfish every cast if your bait's too small this is a good size where you won't catch sunfish too often catch some but just the biggest ones rocky what is this Yeah, another rock bass. How about it? Nice little fish there. What is that? <laughs> Another rock bass. Boy, the, the last couple were real dark. Look how dark he is. This one's the darkest one of the day. He's almost like uh it's almost like black. Yeah. Super dark compared to the earlier one. Y'all should go back and look at maybe I'll post it in there. Look at the difference in colors between this one and the one I called earlier.
All right, y'all. It's actually been a pretty decent day. Fall fishing is usually super slow. Um, no fish. Well, the first rock bait is pretty dang big. Outside of that, if I'm being honest, not a ton worth bragging about. But I did want to switch it up and downsize, so threw on what was uh, always been one of my favorite crick lures, trout magnet, 164 ounce jig head, and I use these red bodies, and these are just great. Sunfish love these. And you'll catch some bass on them too. So we'll see. Small. I wonder if that'll happen again. Because I'm going to walk out to that rock. So I'll take another cast. So let's walk out there, obviously. There we go. Red breast. <laughs> see, y'all, if y'all are trying to catch sunfish, I mean, this really is my favorite lure. This is a little guy too, but. Come on, little buddy, give me your mouth. I want to show the people how you look. There we go. Nice little fish, nice little friend. See you later, bud. What do we catch? That's a green sun. I love these guys. That's a beautiful green sunfish. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Check this out, y'all. This fish has the prettiest colors on it. I mean, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at the colors on him. Beautiful. It's an amazing fish. An amazing fish. It's awesome. All right, y'all. Today wasn't the best day of fishing, but it sure was good. I haven't been out here in a while, and I forgot how good that felt. Um, so again, I'll say it. I apologize that I've been able to put out a lot of content this summer. Like I said, I kind of shift my priorities around, and that's on me. Um, but I love being out here. I love doing this, so I'll keep doing it. And. Um, I don't know that I'll ever be able to put out as much content as I did, it, as I did that first year because we were stuck in COVID, not going to do anything. But um, definitely want to put out more content going forward. Uh, winter's tough for me because just winter fishing here is terrible. But um, thank y'all for watching and everything. And hopefully y'all have a great October um, and a great day. See y'all.